हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट 100 इन मैथमेटिक्स बाय शिवेश कुमार सिंह एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ऑल द पॉसिबल क्वेश्चंस फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इन एंड ऑफ द टर्म एग्जाम ट्राइमेस्टर थ्री फॉर ग्रेड नाइन एडवांस ओके लेट स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन सी आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन वेराइटी ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विद द कॉन्सेप्ट इन्वॉल्व प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड डोंट स्किप द वीडियो ओके सी वॉट दे आर आस्किंग हेयर फाइंड मेजर ऑफ एंगल ए बी सी A, B, C. As I have told you already, that whatever letter you have in between, in the center, that angle you will have to find. So we have to find this total angle and measure of angle C, B, D also. Okay, means this is smaller angle also we have to find. If measure of angle A, B, D is one hundred twenty, so see what we have to find here. We have to find A, B, C. Means this angle. And CBD also means this angle we have to find, and total angle is given to us that is one hundred twenty degree. Okay, here it is given. Now, what we can do here? Then we can make a simple equation that two x plus five x minus six degree is equal to one hundred twenty. So it is just a simple equation. Simplify this. So two x plus five x it is equal to 7x minus 6 is equal to 120. Okay, now minus 6 will add it both the sides, so it will become 126 to another side. So it is 7x is equal to 126. Now we will divide by 7 by both the sides, so it will be x is equal to 7 times 1, 7, 5, 7 is a 56. so this is the value of x my dear students remember one thing that value of x is not the answer okay and definitely this will be one of the choices given in the exam to just confuse you okay because here they are asking angle not the value of x so measure of angle abc is what it is 2x and value of x is 18 so it will be 2 times 18 means 36 will be the first answer and measurement of angle a b d sorry measurement of angle c b d it is equal to 5x minus 6 so again put the value of x here so 5 times 18 minus 6 means 18 times 5 90 so 90 minus 6 means it is equal to 84 degree okay like this you can solve the question now Next question can be find measure of angle J K L means we have to find this angle and measure of angle L K M that is this angle. If measurement of angle J K M means this total angle is one hundred forty. So like the last question, you can finish it. I'll request you to pause the video, do the question yourself, and then match the answer. Okay? See, this is four x. I'm not writing degree every time. Okay? 2x minus 10, it is equal to 140. So 4x plus 2x, 6x. Now minus 10 will be added to both the sides, so it will be plus 10. So 6x is equal to. I'll write little quickly like this. Hmm, what I'm writing? 6x is equal to 140 plus 10, 150. So divided both sides by. Six. It will be x is equal to one hundred fifty divided by six means six times two twelve three six times five thirty. So x is equal to twenty five degree. So therefore, measure of angle J K L it will be equal to four x. Four x means four times twenty five. Four times twenty five means one hundred degree. And measurement of angle L K M it is equal to 2x minus 10 means 2 times 25 minus 10. That is 50 minus 10, and 50 minus 10 means 40 degree. Okay, so one answer is this, another answer is this one. Okay, if you have problem at any step, then you can write in the comment, and definitely I'll explain you once again. Okay, now you see, find the measure of each numbered angle and name the theorem. Okay, means what rule you are using to solve that particular question? You have to mention that. Okay, now 
measure of the numbered angle okay so we have to find the value of 6 7 8 now you see value of 6 is given and value of 7 is also given in terms of x of course it is given here now you can see 6 and 7 they are making one complete straight line yes so it means they are the linear pair so if they are linear pair so you can mention this kind of rule here so measurement of angle 6 plus measurement of angle 7 is equal to 180 why because they are linear pair like this you can mention the rule also we mentioned the theorem okay so what is the value of x it is 2x minus 21 plus value of 7 3x minus 34 is equal to 180 just simplify this so you see 2x and 3x are the like terms and both of them are positive so add them so it is 5x negative 21 and negative 34 it will be negative 55 is equal to 180 now 55 will be added to both the sides because we are trying to find the value of x so it will be equal to 5x is equal to I think 235 just check the calculation okay so x is equal to 235 divided by 5 means 5 times 420 5 sevens are 35 so x is equal to 47 now we have to find all angles so measurement of angle 6 will be equal to uh, it was 2x minus 21 so it is 2 times 47 minus 21 2 times 47 means 94 I guess 94 minus 21 is equal to 73 degree this is the one answer measurement of angle 7 is equal to 3x minus 34 means 3 times 47 minus 34 means it is 3 times 47 3 sevens are 21 3 fours are 12 and 2 14 minus 31 sorry 34 is equal to 7 and then 13 minus 3 10 okay these are the two answers for 6 and 7 now what about 8 now you see measurement of angle 8 will be equal to measurement of angle 6 why because they are vertical angle or you can say face to face angle okay whatever name you have studied in your class you can use that so measurement of angle 8 will be equal to 6 and what is 6 here 47 so it will be also equal to 47 degree like this you can solve the question okay now next question can be find the measure of each numbered angle and name the theorem same like before you see what is the meaning of this this means it is 90 degree yes and what else they have given measurement of 5 and 6 are equal so again you see if you combine all these three angles don't you think that it will make a complete straight line so again they are in linear pair okay or you can say complete straight line so this is measurement of angle 5 plus measurement of angle 6 plus 90 degree is equal to 180 okay now here you can see measurement of 5 and 6 are equal so in place of 6 i am writing 5 equal to 90 subtracted from both the sides so it will be 180 minus 90 means 90 so this is 2 times measurement of angle 5 is equal to 90 so measurement of angle 5 is equal to 90 divided by 2 means 45 degree it means what's the answer here measurement of angle 5 is equal to measurement of angle 6 and both are equal to 45 degree okay now see the next question find the measure of same type of question 2 and 3 are complementary angles what do you mean by complementary angle do you remember that complementary angle means their sum should be equal to 90 degree okay and if it is equal to 180 degree then what is the name of that name of those angles are supplementary angle okay so when you get the question for supplementary angle then you will add them and it will be equal to 180 degree so what they say here angle 1 is congruent this is the sign of congruent my dear students it means they are equal okay so angle 1 and angle 4 they are equal and anything else 
measurement of angle 2 is 30 uh, sorry 28 so just take it as 2 so this is 28 now how we can do the question see they are saying that uh, they are complementary so 2 and 3 are complementary angle and it means 2 plus 3 is 90 and we know measurement of angle 2 it is 28 so 28 plus angle 3 is equal to 90 degree so angle 3 is equal to 90 minus 28 it means 62 degree okay so angle 3 is 62 degree what else 1 and 4 are equal so if you see this if you join all these four angles don't you think that it is again making a straight line so it will be angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 will be equal to 180 degree it means that angle 1 we have to find angle 2 is 28 angle 3 we got just now 62 and angle 4 and 1 are same so I am writing 1 here also it is equal to 180 degree so 1 is 2 times now so 2 times of angle 1 plus 28 plus 62 means 90 degree is equal to 180 90 will be subtracted from both the sides so twice of angle 1 is equal to 180 minus 90 means 90 degree so angle 1 is equal to 45 degree and same like angle 2 also so angle 1 and angle 2 both will be equal to 45 degree okay now what we have to do same type of question 2 and 4 and 4 and 5 are supplementary supplementary means their total should be 180 so just make the equation here angle 2 plus angle 4 is equal to 180 because they are supplementary and angle 4 and angle 5 plus angle 5 is also equals to 180 and measurement of angle 4 is given 105 so easily we can do this question yes just put the value of angle 4 here so measurement of angle 2 plus 105 is equal to 180 so what should be measurement of angle 2 no doubt it will be equal to 75 degree so this is one of the answers and then for angle 4 also for angle 5 also you just put it here so it will be angle 4 means 105 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degree so angle 5 also equal to 75 degree this is the another answer what about 3 how you will find this 3 so if you see 2 and 3 are making one straight line so angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 it means how by using linear pair okay just uh, don't forget to mention the uh, rule theorem name also so angle 2 was 75 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 so angle 3 is equal to 180 minus 75 that is it will be equal to 105 degree like this you can solve this question now another question can be find the measure of each numbered angle and name the theorem like the same you see 9 and 10 again they are making a straight line so measurement of angle 9 plus measurement of angle 10 is equal to 180 degree why because they are linear pair okay now it is 9 is 3x plus 12 and 10 is x minus 24 is equal to 180 so 3x plus x 4x plus 12 minus 24 is minus 12 is equal to 180 now 12 will be added to both the sides so it will be 4x is equal to 180 plus 12 192 so divide by 4 divide by 4 here also so x is equal to 192 divided by 4 4 4 is a 16 4 8 is a 32 so value of x is 48 so what will be the angles angles will be measurement of angle 9 is equal to 3 times x means 48 plus 12 3 times 48 means 3 8 are 24 3 4 is a 12 and 1 14 plus 12 means 156 please check the calculation okay measurement of angle 10 is equal to x minus 24 that is 48 minus 24 equals to 24 
okay my dear students if you want to check the answer you just add these two answers and it it should be equal to 180 because they are part of the linear pair okay like this you can check the answer now i think this is the last question for such category for question number two find the measure of the same thing so three and four what is the name of the rule what type of angles they are they are vertical angles so measurement of angle 3 must be equal to measurement of angle 4 why because they are vertical angle or face to face angle or sometimes it is also said vertically opposite angle okay or you can say opposite angle so it is measurement of angle 3 is 2x plus 23 is equal to 5x minus 112 so 2x will be subtracted from both the sides to find the value of x and 112 will be added to both the sides then it will be equal to uh, this cancelled and then 23 plus 112 I think it is 135 is equal to 5x minus 2x is 3x so x is equal to 135 divided by 3 means 3 times 4 12 3 times 5 15 so x is equal to 45 so what will be measurement of angle 3 it is equal to 2 times 45 plus 23 that is 90 plus 23 means 113 degree and measurement of angle 4 is also the same because they are vertically opposite angle okay so like this you can have question number two in your exam and see just by simple simple rules if you remember them then easily you can solve the question i am sure you have understood this lesson this question and if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends and don't forget to watch other videos in the same playlist okay thank you